Hello friends, how are you? You can see this is a load cell and it's uh, it's fitting. It's a shank load cell. I will show you how it is fitted. You can see the name plate. It's 100 kg. This is the cable of load cell. Load cell is fixed with these algae boards with this base plate. Here you can see this plate is fitted with these two bolts. This plate is fixed upwards. And this is hanger. Roller are placed on this plate, this and down with the bolt for adjustment at how much load should be on the load cell. Here we can hang the test weight for check weight calibration. So this was the fitting of the load cell. Now I will remove if we want to replace the load cell. We will open these LG boards. Then load cell is free from this base plate. Now we can also remove this hanger and roller foundation. These two bolts used to fit this with load cell. This is my load cell. You can see arrow mark. It shows how port will be adjusted. This is a damaged load cell. Here you can see its cable is de-isolated. Its cable is desoldered. Also, here are connections below this. So this is my load cell damage load cell I just showing you how to fix and how to unfix and how to replace this is the wave feeder load cell belt wave feeder both sides these two load cell are fixed in this fitting left side and right side Now I will show you how to check load cell with the multimeter and how to give excitation volt and how to check the output millivolt. As you can see this load cell has six cables red and white for output, green and black for excitation voltage and orange and blue are the for reference. Here red and white output millivolt. Here we can check the resistance. Resistance is 348 ohm. The output resistance is a little more than the sorry the excitation cable volt resistance is little more than the output as you can see I am checking the excitation resistance 386 387 ohm I am checking green and black cable these are the excitation volt cable of the load cell this is a six wire load cell two for input Excitation 2 for output millivolt and 2 for reference. Here I am checking the resistance at reference cable. It's also same as the input excitation cable's resistance because these are jumped inside the load cell. It just shows that 
our how many ports are reaching on the load set from the controller and return back to the controller this is just for reference or you can see the same resistance as the input resistance now i will give excitation volt here green is for positive and black for negative volt i will give 24 volt to this load cell and then i will check it millivolt and its output or i have terminated supply now i am checking with multimeter it is showing 24 volt dc i have given 24 volt to this load cell now i am checking the output at red and white red is positive and white is negative it should be millivolt so you can see it showing 0.12 millivolt because no load on the load cell now i will exert a load and i will show you how much millivolt are at the output now it's zero because no load i will force it yes i am forcing and you can see it's giving millivolt as per weight so this is the weight